Welcome to Megamation Direct Line Training. This video will look at the Room Entry screen. To access the Room Entry screen, go to Module, Equipment, Sites, Buildings, and Rooms, Room Entry. The Room Entry screen is used to create new rooms within a building. Each room within the building will have its own equipment number and therefore will be able to be used to create work orders and charge labor and materials against. Begin entering a new room by choosing what building the room will be in. Do this by entering the building number in the building field or by clicking the drop down and choosing from the list of available buildings. Next, enter a hallway by typing the hall number or clicking the magnifying glass and choosing a hall from the list. If halls are not used, type NA in the hall field. Enter a new room, room number in the room field. This field can contain letters, numbers, or dashes. No other special characters are allowed. Once the room number is entered, hit tab or enter on the keyboard and a new room entry begins. Note the new entry text in the status bar at the top. The new room's related equipment number is displayed in the Equipment ID section. This is the number that will be used to create work orders against this room. The floor of the room can be designated by typing a floor number in the floor section. Class will fill automatically as building room. This can be changed by hitting the drop down button. Enter a description of the room in the description field. This is a text field and can contain any characters. The building particulars section displays information about the building the room will be in. Dimensions, area, and capacity section is filled out by typing in the respective fields. When filling in the area fields, only square feet or square meters needs to be filled out and the other section will be calculated automatically. Once length and width are filled out, the area is completed automatically. Use the radio button on the bottom left corner of the page to choose page 2. Page 2 contains information about hazardous materials. See the hazardous materials module video for more information. Use the radio button on the bottom to choose page 3. Page 3 contains particulars about the room such as floor and ceiling covering and notes about doors and windows. Once all information about the room is entered, click the Save button in the top left corner or click File Save or use the Save shortcut on the keyboard. The screen is now cleared and ready to enter another room.